Hello class, Moxes here, signing on. Today we will talk about work ethics performance standard. Let's begin. Standards to be successful in a career, you must possess both strong occupational skills and good work ethics. On the next slides, you will see the 10 areas of work ethics traits in performance standards. Here are the uh, top 10 work ethics. Attendance, character, teamwork, appearance, attitude, productivity, organizational skills, communication, cooperation, and respect. We will go beyond to that one by one as we go along with our discussion. Let's start with attendance. Of course, you have to be on time. Do not be absent unless you have a very valid reason. And if you will be absent, notify employer if you will be absent, of course. Begin and end work as expected. And then be mindful to use work time appropriately. For your character at work, you should be honest, dependable, and loyal. Be honest in all situations. Demonstrate trustworthiness and responsible behavior. Displays loyalty, dependability, reliability, and shows initiative and self-discipline. Also display a high level of uh, effort and commitment to uh, performing and completing work, of course. Being honest is more than just not taking things. It's like, for example, in an eight-hour day work, how much time should be spent on tasks? How much time should be spent on rest? Using the company telephone for personal calls, checking email, or texting is actually stealing from the company. The same with resting during working hours. Teamwork. Working toward a goal requires cooperation and respect. To show teamwork, you have to encourage and facilitate cooperation, pride, trust, and group identity. Foster commitment and team spirit. Again, facilitate cooperation. And do not forget to respect the right of others. Give them a chance to explain themselves. Also, we have to respect confidentiality. Each of us has our own private life. Mind your own business. Be a team worker. Cooperative. Assertive. And part of being in a teamwork, you have to display a customer service attitude. Appearance includes clothing, hygiene, manners. Appearance deals with every aspect of how we perceive an individual. 
In an instant, we form opinions about a person based on appearance, smell, cleanliness, mannerisms. Therefore, we have to present a net clean appearance online or face to face. Practice personal hygiene like brushing your teeth regularly or gurgle mouthwash, you know, to avoid bad breath. Try some perfume for some time. Wear your uh, clothing suitable in the job or test or the environment. And do not forget to use appropriate verbal and written etiquette. Attitude. You know, the attitude, be positive, we can do it, attitude, that's good. Demonstrates a positive attitude. Never underestimate the power of proper attitude. You know, attitude determines how successful we will be. You should appear self-confident. Self-confidence is a um, prerequisite to success. It is when you're willing to learn new skills, to take opportunities, and open to grow. Display a willingness to uh, cooperate and accept constructive criticism for some it's hard maybe because they're still immature emotionally immature set realistic criticisms remember the saying attitude is a magnet what you think is what you attract and also remember Gratitude is the best attitude. The key to getting your task done on time is one of the uh, organizational skills. You have to learn how to prioritize and manage time and stress effectively. And also learn to demonstrate flexibility in adapting to changes. In work, change is constant and it is normal. Communication can be really written, verbal, or visual. You have to learn how to communicate accurate information to others in a professional and courteous manner. Learn to display appropriate non-verbal and oral skills. You know, non-verbal includes eye contact, battle language, and the oral includes listening, telephone etiquette, and of course, grammar. Listen attentively to others. That's very important. And remember good technology etiquette working together to achieve more cooperation that's true convey a willingness to others you know you have to show that you are willing to assist others Work to resolve conflicts and to identify solutions in which all parties are benefits. Then also learn to demonstrate concern for treating people fairly and equitably. Do not forget to follow the chain of command in resolving conflicts. It's part of the cooperation. Display leadership skills. Be able to uh, appropriately handle criticism, conflicts, and complaints. And that's important. And demonstrates problem-solving capability. 
also maintains appropriate relationship with supervisors and peers. All these are part of cooperation by being cooperative. How to show respect? Look at your screen. These are some way of showing respect, especially during a work immersion. You have to treat instructors, staff, and fellow students with respect, courtesy, and tact. Do not engage in harassment of any kind. You know, harassment is not only physical, it could be verbal also. You have to know the legal definitions of sexual harassment, especially. Deal appropriately with cultural or racial diversity. And remember this when it comes to respect. Respect should be the first thing you give. That's all for now. Remember this. Teamwork makes the dream work. Thank you for watching. This is Mamses signing off.